Hello there everybody, how's it going? It's Jesse from Jesse Marie Does Stuff here on FlossTube. And I am coming to you on this Monday, December 31st, 2018. Oh my goodness, it's practically New Year with my whip parade. We're here. <laughs> um, I am I am literally surrounded on all sides, just like last time, by projects. <laughs> so let's let's do this. Um couple of things that I want to do before we sort of jump in um, is first to say, hey, I know it's been a month since I've filmed and I'm sorry for that. The holidays were busy. We just, we had to be in so many places. Um, and so time just got away from me. And then I was supposed to film this wet parade on Saturday, um, but I was kind of dealing with some neck stuff. I'm all good. It's all good. Um, so I, no problems there, but that's why this is coming a couple days later than I had sort of teased on Instagram. But nonetheless, we're getting it done before the new year, so no big deal there. Um, a couple of notes before we start. Um, one thing that I want to do this year is, if you're stitching while you watch this, I want you to post your before and afters on Instagram. I expect this to take about two hours. So I'd really like to see sort of the before and afters. Now I know that most people aren't gonna be able to watch this all in one shot. I totally understand that. Um, but just like a before and after of your stitching progress or your laundry folding or <laughs> whatever you choose to do while you're, while you're watching this um, or just listening to me. Um, so if you would, if you're interested, and maybe I'm the only weirdo who, who would do this, but hashtag JMDS Whip Parade. Use that hashtag on Instagram. Um, tag me specifically. Tag me on Facebook. Um, I think that would be really fun. I think it would be it would be kind of fascinating to see well, how much progress you guys make while watching me ramble or listening. You probably won't see much. Um, I mean, you're gonna see a lot, but. I know how floss tube goes. Anyway, um, so there's that hashtag JMDS Whip Parade. Um, I was gonna attach the year on it, but we're at this weird spot right now where it could be 2019 where you are when you're watching this, or it could be not yet 2019. <laughs> when I got up this morning, it was already 2019 in New Zealand. I got up late. Um, <laughs> like that's just it's it's pretty wild. So I didn't want to stick a year on it. Um, if you are somebody who needs a drink, you should you should go get that. Um, you should probably grab a snack, grab some stitching. Seriously, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna talk. I feel like I'm repeating myself from from my whip parade last year. Um, so there's just a little bit of uh, of overlap in my speech here. Um, so. I think that I'm not going to probably do another whip parade until the end of 2020. This is a lot. Um, I have 75 projects to show you today because as of right now, I have 75 whips. Um, and a year and a half ago, I had 79. So um, it's just a lot. And so I think I'm just going to do it every two years. I did feel like it was okay for me to do this now, despite the fact that the last one was just a year and a half ago, uh, because I added 23 projects to my whips. Um, so 23 projects in this pile are some that I did not show you in that whip parade last year. Um, and then I have finished 25 things since that whip parade. Of those 25 finishes since that whip parade, 18 of them were shown in that whip parade. So I have a change of 41 projects. I have that written down here. I have a change of 41 projects here, um, which I think is pretty, that's pretty interesting. Um, and since I have 75, I think that that warrants a new wet parade. Um, there is going to be some overlap, obviously. There's going to be a lot of things that barely progressed since last July. Uh, but there's also a lot of new things. So yeah, that's, that's exciting. Um, I'm not going to go over my storage. I did that last time and nothing has changed as far as that's concerned. Um, what I am going to do is I spoke in my planning video, 
the video where I talked about my 2019 plans, um, I told you that I was sort of trimming the list of my actual whips. And so I have 36, I think. I think it's 36. Um, 36 works in progress that are carrying over into 2019 that I'll be focusing on next year. And the rest are going to kind of have to wait. Um, the sort of circumstance depending. So I separated out my 36 projects for 2019, and I'm going to show you those first. I'm also going to show you, or explain rather, what my goal for the year is for each of those. So I have, I have all of that printed out here uh, to show you. So, yeah. I had to get prepared. I had to, I had to mentally prepare myself for this. So, okay. Um, so I think that that is all of the, all of the things. Should we just get going? I think so. Actually, I do have one more thing that I want to talk about. Uh, I do still owe you guys a giveaway. Um, a f month ago, I think something like that. I started up a giveaway for Jenny Bean's Halloween sampler. Um, I'm not going to do that today. I will do that draw in my next update video, which may be this week, but it may not be until next week. I can't really film when Danny's around, um, and he's on his two-week uh, winter holiday uh, break thing that his company does. Um, and today is a different a different scenario. He's off at um, at his parents' house. Um, it was totally his suggestion. He was like, "You need to do your whip parade." <laughs> Um, so he's sort of facilitating is, is what he's, he's called it. Um, but I won't have that opportunity this week. Um, so it may not be until next week when I do an update. Um, that's just the way the cookie's going to crumble. So shall we get going? Let's get going. Okay, here we go. First up is a project that I recently started. This is Plum Street Sampler Sheep Heap. This section is gonna be alphabetic, just so you know. Um, so Plum Street Samplers Sheep Heap, this is actually Animal Piles Quartet is how I have it listed in my whips because as one project together, I'm doing four of them and they will comprise the Animal Piles Quartet. Um, but I did start with Sheep Heap. And this is on a 32 count Belfast in Colonial Parchment. I finally cracked into my Colonial Parchment after not wanting to. And so here's where I'm up to. Now, most of the threads are hand dyed chosen from stash. Um, I had a couple of the called for, but not too many of them. Um, so I just supplemented with what I had in stash. The main uh, sheep color is the DMC equivalent because I didn't really have a good alternative for parchment, uh, we I works parchment, so I just decided to use the, the DMC. And so this is sort of, was my way of starting um, in anticipation of Emily C. Eclectic Possessions birthday sale in March. Um, for her birthday sale we're doing goat load and of the same series. Um, and so mine is sheep heap so that I could get it started before the new year because uh, no new starts. Goat load will go here and then I will have, uh, I think I have it set up so that it's llama lump and gobble gob. And I'm so excited about it. So there is that. Um, and I have a mix of Wix Dye Works, Classic Color Works, Color and Cotton, Gentle Art Sampler Threads. I got a whole mess of things going on for this. Um, so there is that, and I already love it. One down, 74 to go. I'm not going to do that count the whole time. My goal for that project for Animal Piles Quartet for the year is to finish one of the piles. Um, so it's probably going to be sheep heap, uh, but that's my goal for the year on that project. I would like to get them all started um, in that same, in that project, but just one finished pile. Okay, up next is Around the World in 80 Stitches by Papillon Creations. I did this very differently than last time. I pre-pulled everything out, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, Around the World in 80 Stitches, Papillon Creations, aka the Katie Sampler, aka hashtag not a heart. And uh, 
Most of you will know why it's called that. This is on 32 Count Belfast in Friendship Green by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And I worked on this recently during um, my 32 before 19 sort of crazy uh, challenge thing. There's a bunch of specialty stitches in this, 80 of them actually, and they are globally influenced. Um, so let's see, so far I've done raised stitches. I can't remember what that one's called. I did a Norwich stitch and, oh, what's that? Oh, Berwick. The vines are done in Berwick, which is kind of a cool, um, it's kind of a cool stitch. It's kind of lazy daisy like a little bit. Anyway, uh, this is with, again, a mix of threads. Um, all of them are a little bit suggestive on the, um, the names of them, so I have like Rosy Glow and Hot Rod um, and whatnot. I also call this the raunchy sampler because it's kind of raunchy. Okay, uh, goal for that is to just put in five days on it. Um, no, nothing extraordinary. That cover that I showed you is just part one and I think there's a total of 24 parts. It's a big piece and there's just no way. <laughs> Uh, so five days. I would like to put five days into it. Okay, up next is August Quilt. And that is from the Paula Vaughn's Quilts for All Seasons book. And this is my oldest of the three, so you'll see the other two in a little while. <laughs> um, and so that's what that one will look like finished. And this is being done on a 32 count Belfast in antique, or no, excuse me, cream by Zweigart. And, oh, there we go. There is where I'm up to. Um, and I worked on this recently again for the 32 before 19, and I think I focused on um, the next shade on the center line of the quilt. Um, so just like an off-white cream color, basically, and I think that that's all I managed. Um, I didn't tell you guys this, but at one point I did, attempted to do 13 of those in the span of two days. I failed completely because I can't work on that many projects in a day. Um, but I was trying to vlog it and trying to get the 32 before 19 done as quickly as possible. That's why this is so much later than I had intended it. Anyway, uh, my goal for the August quilt is to finish it. I would really like to get that done this year. Okay, up next is my Autumn Fairy by Chatelaine. This is my Chatelaine focus for 2019. And this is another one that I worked on recently. And I finished basically the copper shades in her dress and the leaves sort of floating around over there. I don't think the leaves are quite finished. I think there's another couple shades to go in there, but nonetheless, I I do so love this piece. Uh, this is on 32 Count Belfast in Mellow by Picture This Plus. And yeah, I just, I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. Uh, my goal for this piece is also five days. I was going to originally try to finish it because my trifecta, <laughs> uh, but I think that five days would be really just really good progress for this. Um, so that is that. Is that really what I put for that? Originally I had planned to get through the mandala done or um, there were a few things that I, I considered for my goal for that, but I think I'm just gonna stick to five days. Okay, up next, I'm so excited about this one. Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. Uh, this was a piece that I started this year, and I'm so excited about it. This is on 32 Count Belfast in Sassanac by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Using a mix of the called for threads and also a blend of some things that I had in stash. And I'm obsessed. Yep, love that. Um, it's a really gray, rainy day. It's beautiful stitching weather. Um, so my colors are probably going to be a little off. Plus, 
these oranger fabrics turn me blue. That's pretty wild. And my goal for this piece is to finish it. I'd really like to finish that. Um, yeah, that would be great. Okay, up next is a favorite um, that I haven't worked on since the beginning of the year. This is Dona Stitch's um, Beauty and the Beast, or Belle, I think is what it's called now. And this gorgeous giant rose needle miner. This is on 32 Count Belfast in Cream by Zweigart, which is a lot of what my projects are on. And here's where I am after starting this in 2016 during Mania. And that's sad. That's, that's pretty sad. So, my goal for this piece is five days. Put five good days in. Hopefully get the rows done, but we'll see. Um, the goal is not elements, just time for this one. Okay. And I would really like to be able to get going on some of the other ones because I love her stuff. I love how just, I love that geometric business going on. Okay, next is a recent new start. This is Christmas at Winterberry Cabin by Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread, although I don't think this one is under that. No, it is not. I absolutely adore this pattern. And this is on uh, 28 Count Cashel in Ale, Crystal Ale by Picture This Plus. Again, using a mix of hand-dyed cards from Stash, almost none, if not zero, of the called for. Um, and here's where I started. Here's what I got done when I first started on this uh, sometime mid-December. Or early. I don't know. <laughs> I started this recently. Um, and I used the Buckeye Scarlet. But his coat looks so good. <laughs> like, can't deny it. Can't deny it. So there is that pretty pretty. Um, and my goal for that piece is to finish it. It's a little one, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, up next is a crowd favorite. And for the, I think, third year in a row, my goal for it is to finish it. It is, of course, my elephants by Jane Natalie Mayhew from the infamous Cross Stitch Safari book. And this is what this piece will look like when it's done. I worked on this during 32 before 2019. And I have to tell you guys that it was not fun. <laughs> but here's why. I wanted to spend so much more time on this than I could. Um, I think it was during that crazy trying to accomplish too many things in, in a short amount of time. Um... And I just, I want to be able to spend some good time with this piece, and I just didn't have time to do that. So what I got done was a little bit of the grass over here, and then a little bit under Celeste's chin. And that's it. That's all I did. I absolutely adore this. It's so beautiful. Uh, the fabric here is 32 Count Linen in Aqua by Fabric Flare. It's a printed fabric, so you see that blue coloring on the front but it's plain on the back. I do so love this, and I am looking forward to finishing this in 2019. I know it's always the goal, but really, this is going to come out next year. Okay, up next, let's follow up a not-so-favorite with a not-so-favorite. Uh, this is the Fantasy Style by Doreen Jones for Lakeside Needlecraft. This is just a generic mock-up that came with my Block 11 or something. I don't remember. Um, so I don't have the cover for the whole thing, but that's a close idea. This is on 32 Count Belfast in Heroic by Picture This Plus. And here's where I'm starting from. So I think that I mentioned it. If you guys watched... Sammy J and I did the year in review tag. I'm going to link it up here, up there, as well as in the description box below. You should totally go check it out. It's two hours, um, so it's pretty intense, but she and I do the year in review tag together. 
Um, and I mentioned this piece being my least favorite of my whips. But as you can see, it's like 80% done. So I just have to just finish it. And I will, I'll enjoy it when it's done. It's full, it's very busy. It's not unattractive, it's just, it's just a lot of work. It's really what it is, it's just a lot of work. Um, and so my goal for this piece is to get through page five. So page one ends here, and page two, and page three. And then page four, I think, encompasses most of the July block. I'm just gonna finish the July, bo July block regardless. Um, is, that's page four, and then page five is the center. Um, so it'll just be probably the ornaments in the center there. Uh, so that's my goal for the year on this. I'm not going to try to finish it this year. I mean, if I do, if I get in a good groove and I finish it, then cool. But it's not, it's not high priority. It's not like the ultimate, um, it's not the ultimate goal to get it done. If I get through page five and I have to put it down, then so be it. So there is that. And I am looking forward to reaching that point when I can uh, say that it's done. But I'm also not going to force myself to work on something that I'm not super in love with. Okay, up next is Farmhouse Christmas. And I have this just really as a placeholder. Um, I intend on doing the entire Farmhouse Christmas series. And I have the Little Red Barn finished, technically. Um, I think I mentioned again in that year in review tag that I am going to be ripping out the border because I don't think that I need to just stitch the border for all nine blocks. I don't think that that's going to be necessary for the way that I want to finish them. So I'm just going to rip it out. Or maybe I'll... I hate ripping. <laughs> so I was thinking maybe I would leave it on this one, but then the rest of them will look unbalanced. So I'm probably just going to have to rip them on all. Um, this is being done on 32 count Belfast in flax by Zweigart and I have a couple more pieces of this so that if I feel the need to start something in the new year, like if that urge is kicking in, um, then I can start one of these potentially or the animal piles or a few other things I have like that. Um, so there is that. Uh, but again, that's just a placeholder. Um, but I do have one done, eight to go. The goal for the year is to finish all of them and to fully finish them. I probably should put that down here that I intend to fully finish them all. Um, that's something that I would really like to get on track with, but I'm not, I'm not putting it in stone, shall we say. Okay, up next is the Flower of the Month series by Ellen Morris Straw. This is a freebie design that I started back in 2015. I'm a little embarrassed for how far I've gotten since then, but that's okay. It's all right. It's about the journey. Um, this is on a 32 count Belfast in cream by Zweigart. Um, this is a freebie design series. It is currently available. I will link it in the description box below if you would like to go ahead and grab it. It's a series of 12 flowers. Each themed around their respective months. So I have carnations, uh, violets, and jonquil is almost done. And my goal for the year is five flowers, including that jonquil. So if I can get that jonquil done, then I just need to finish four more for the year. I do love this piece, but I never make it the priority that I need to. And so if I can get a total of, let me see, that will be seven months done. Then I'll just have five to do the next year. That's a pretty good, that's pretty good for me. Okay, up next, my first in a fancy project bag. Uh, this is from Diddly Daddle Designs. This gorgeous uh, gray and black and gray and white print with the yellow features and then the yellow zipper pull. And the inside is that gorgeous yellow print as well. In here is one of my favorite projects. For an, Forever and Ever by Cottage Garden Samplings. Um, I started, most of these I don't know the start dates, but this one I know I started on July 13th, which was the 20 year anniversary of my grandma's passing. She loved Cardinals and Blue Jays. 
and I I love this. So this is being done. Actually, I'm gonna put these back in their project bags since they're right here. Uh, this is on 32 count Belfast in Vintage Winter Sky by Lakeside Linens. And I am obsessed with this series, you guys know. And um, I'm obsessed with this linen. It's showing up way more purple. It's got some purple in it. Um, there's there's no denying that. But it's like a it's like a faded blue jeans almost color. And I dig it. I dig it. So my goal for this is to finish it uh, because I love it. There's a lot of work left to do. Each of these are 159 by 159, so um, it's no small task. <laughs> but I would like to be able to do all of them. I contemplated treating this like this series, like Farmhouse Christmas. Um, and so when I finish this one, I can just automatically start on the next one. But really, these are individual projects. They won't all be displayed together. If I finish just one of them, then that's okay. Farmhouse Christmas, I really need all nine of them for my display version, my uh, display ideas. So um, they're just going to have to count as separate projects. That'll be okay. I have contemplated the newest one uh, Trisha posted about recently on her group, Three Owls Reds. Um, it's Blue Jays and Bluebells. I contemplated just putting one stitch in a piece of fabric, just kind of guessing where a stitch might go so that I have it ready to go, even though I don't have the pattern. Um, and I might still do that today, but we'll see. See what happens. Okay, um, up next is also in a project bag. And this one is in my Evertote Gobble 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 Till You Wobble bag. This gorgeousness. Thor left his influence. <laughs> and this gorgeous ochre interior. In here is a recent start, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, then you may not have seen this. Um, this is Give Thanks by the Drawn Thread. I finally started it. And I think I said something. I either started this late for Thanksgiving or super early for next year's Thanksgiving. <laughs> But nonetheless, I got it started. And I am doing this on 32 Count Belfast in Vintage Country Mocha by Zweigart. I ordered a piece. Um, you guys might remember that I tried to start this on the other half where that I had done the needle worker on. Um, but it wasn't quite big enough, so I just ordered another piece. And started way over here with the first chair. The coloring in the photograph is so different than the way that the threads actually look and the way the fabric actually looks. Uh, it's so different. Um, and that is evidenced here. This is the called for silk. It's dinky dyes stringy bark. And so it's this kind of muted um, brown color. Now, this part of the chair is not the called for. Uh, that's in a DMC equivalent of the MPI that was called for. I just decided not to go with the MPIs. Um, but I did get the two dinky dies. Now, this part of the chair is done with a... It appears to be like a modified rice stitch. I can't remember what the pattern calls it, but it's a modified rice. Um, and it's such a cool textured pattern. I really, really like that. It kind of looks like cross dumbbells, <laughs> which is kind of crazy. Anyway, my uh, goal for this is just five days. Um, I don't anticipate that with um, amongst everything else that I'm going to be able to get this finished before Thanksgiving, and so I'm not going to make the push for it. But five days on this, that would be awesome. Back to the stack. Up next in the stack is Glory of Autumn by Dimensions. This is a Dimensions kit. I subbed out the fabric and I am stitching this on a 28, nope, this one is, yes, it is 28 count. Um, the kit came with 14 count and so I wanted to be sure to use a similar count or equivalent um, 
because of the, the thread counts that Dimensions often calls for. Again, this was worked on for 32 before 19, and I got this one, um, this the darkest shade of orange. Um, it kind of starts up here, and it's featured predominantly down here. I got that all done in that tree, um, so that was pretty good. And, yeah, I love this. This was started in 2015. A lot of these are 2015s um, because almost all of them I chose the oldest. Uh, if I had multiples from each designer. Um, and a lot are from 2015. This one is, is no exception. So uh, My goal for this piece is this page, this right page, that's it. Not including the back stitch. Um, I think I may back stitch at the end just because it will cross over into the other page. Um, and so I just don't want to, I don't want to like stop that and have that harsh end to the back stitch when it wouldn't make sense. So just the stitching on the right page. It's still a ton of work. There's a lot to do. Uh, but I think that that's pretty manageable. Okay, um, up next is a recent start. Uh, recent, you guys have seen this. This is Halloween Jack Sewing Roll by Stacey Nash Primitives. I absolutely love this piece. I can't wait to work on this again. Uh, this is on 32 Count Belfast in Claire by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I'm stitching it using DMC, or no, Anchor 403. Uh, just Anchor Black. And. Oh, love it. I love it. It's not, the fabric is showing up way, way muted. It's, um, it's richer than that. But that's okay. That's what we're dealing with today. Um, I, oh, I love this so much. And I cannot wait to get back to this. I hope this one made my whip go for the year. If not, I'll make time for it. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I love it. And my goal for it is to finish it this year. I would very much like to finish that one. Okay. Up next. A lot of these are Halloween stuff, too, which is okay by me. Um, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. Started in 2017. I don't yet have block one done. I would like to finish three blocks, and I have yet to decide what three blocks those are. I may just go across. Or I may do this one and then this one, or I may come down. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, we shall see. But one thing I do know is that my three blocks includes this one that's not quite finished. This is on 40 Count Edinburgh Linen by Zweigart in Country Mocha. It's not vintage because for whatever reason it's not called vintage in the 40 Count. And so that's where I'm starting from. I have... Just, I mean, finishing this block, it'll take maybe two days. I just have the tombstones to do here in the bottom. Spider webs, spider, back stitch, and finish the, the box. And that's it. <laughs> oh, I love this. I cannot wait to get back to this. Uh, this one will count for one of my three blocks, finishing three blocks. So I could start all, technically, 12 blocks. Um, but finishing three is what I would like to do this year. Okay, so there's that. Um, up next is another Halloween piece. <laughs> this is Clouds Factory's Haunted House. This super cool project. And actually I wanted to see that. Okay, so my goal for this piece is two pages, the next two pages. So I have the first two pages on the top done, so I'm making my way down. And I just want to get two pages done in this this year. And that was the back. This is on a super fun fabric, uh, 32 Belfast in Ombriel by Under the Sea Fabrics. And this is where I'm starting from. So page, the pages that I'll be working on this year, um, I actually have, it looks like I have this one mostly done except for the clouds. 
and maybe there's more bats or something, I don't know. Um, but it stops right about there, and so cuts across. So that's going to be my goal for the year, really. It's mostly just this page that's going to take up any time this year. Oh, I love this. So much fun. Such cool colors and like wackadoodle and that moon. Much fun. So this piece will get some love this year. Another 2015 whip. Okay. Up next is a big one. Um, this one I didn't have with the with the whips um, because it takes up so much space. Okay, we have in this moment artwork by Jeremiah Kettner chartered by Heaven Earth Designs. You all know it. You all love it. This is my hate focus for the year. This is on 25 count cream Lugana by Zweigart. I have six pages done since starting it in 2015. And so that's where we are currently. I braid the hanging threads um, after finishing a page and then I braided them together. <laughs> so there's just a lot going on there. Um, so, yeah. This is... I'm so excited. I'm going to get this set up on my frame tonight and get it gridded because at midnight I start page four. <laughs> this is my new year, new start because I'm starting page four. Fun fact, I have never had... In all of my hate stitching, I have never stitched on a page four in the first row. Uh, Mini Pearl was three pages across. Faces of Fairy was three pages across. Um, I have yet to stitch on a page four in the first row. So that's kind of a first, a new to me kind of thing. Um, so page four is also um, a new start of the next diagonal of pages. It's all very exciting. And it's close enough for me for um, New Year, New Start. I'm so excited. So my goal for this piece, um, I might have already said it, it's seven pages. Seven is a little weird because this diagonal is four pages and the next would be five. However, I don't think I can get nine pages done this year. And um, this, pa this piece is also called McKenna. Um, and McKenna has requested that I just hurry up and get to the goods already. Um, so page seven is this page and it cuts off right about mid wrist. So we're going to get side boob <laughs> next year. Um, and I hope that that works for you, McKenna. Um, I'm also going to get hair and her face. I'm going to get to do her face. I'm so excited. <sighs> Can't wait. So this is my only hate goal for the year. Um, and it's seven pages. It's going to take a lot, but uh, I think I can do it. The fabric smells funny. Probably because it's been packed up in plastic since September. Um, so there is my darling hate focus for the year. Can't wait to get going on that. Um, I'm just, I'm just really excited. Just really excited. Okay. Page two, we're only two pages and page two isn't quite as full. So um, we're over halfway on section one. Up next is another 2015 web. This is the Jingle series by Lizzie Kate. And that's what the entirety of the project will look like finished. This is another one of those pieces that I felt like I'm dying to start something. If I just can't, <laughs> um, then I could potentially start some more of these. Um, because they are like individual little patterns, but they comprise one project. So there's that. I worked on this recently for 32 before 2019. This is on 32 count linen in amber by Wichelt. So it's pretty stiff. Um, it's like a dry linen, really. This is done in almost all of the called for weeks dye works with one exception, but you can't tell the difference. So I'm not even going to point it out. 
Um, and when I worked on this recently, I finished up these two peppermint candies here. I did these little guys up here, and I finished out the uh, Weak Star Works uh, Capri or Capri. Uh, in this smoke, I had like one left to do, and so that's where that's where I am with that. It's pitiful, um, but it's gonna get done next year. Uh, it's a it's a big time focus for next year, um, and the goal is is to finish as it has been for years, but that's okay. It's a new year. I've got some big goals, but I have the whole year ahead of me. <laughs> okay, up next is one of two Mirabilias, but this is only kind of. Uh, this is Maidens of the Seasons by Mirabilia. Um, this is my diversified Maidens of the Seasons. And I'm stitching this on 32 count Belfast, right? Yes, opalescent in Silver Springs from Color Cascade Fabrics. And, yep, there is the start of spring. Why does that feel wrong? Because it is. It goes like this. <laughs> That's right. I worked across the top because winter will go here. I just don't have near as much border as um, I normally do. Sorry, this is a fat half of fabric because all four of the maidens will be going on this one piece. Um, so it takes a little bit to get it organized. Uh, so yeah, this is my start of spring. I have decided that spring is going to be, um, she's going to be sort of thematically a Japanese geisha. Um, and I will try to, to make that sort of come across. To be honest, it's a really easy conversion sort of thing because her gown is already very, it's already very geisha um, looking a little bit to me. Um, plus the Japanese geisha and... Um, spring cherry blossoms um, it's just all very it, it works so that's what I'm gonna do for that one I think that would be a, a really easy transition so there is that and um, I am looking forward to getting back to this now my goal for this piece for the year is to just pull it out for the uh, the seasons according to Australia so when it's um, fall in Australia coming up, I think, March? I think, March? Maybe April. No, I think it's March. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, then I will pull this out to work on fall. I do still have to work on summer. Uh, I haven't done that yet, and it's currently Australian summer. Um, so I will, I'll do that before fall at some point. I'll find a way to work this in to the plains. Uh, and I'm just going to work on it for two days at the start of each of the Australian seasons. I'm not putting any sort of finishing goals on this one uh, because it's one of my most recent Mirabilia starts. It's not necessarily high priority right now. Um, it will be, but not, not right now. Okay, up next is another pretty popular design, I would say. This is Nantucket Rose by Lavender and Lace. I worked on this a little teeny tiny bit for uh, 32 before 2019. Uh, this is on 32 count Belfast in flax by Zweigart. I do love flax. It's it's good. Um, and I just worked in the trees because that's what I did. Uh, this I started in 2016 with pearl and stitches. We did a lavender and lace sort of start along. And that's all I have to show for two years, two years, two and a half years. Yeah, uh, need to work on this. Uh, my goal for this piece, however, for this year is just five days. Um, I have so many pretty ladies and I just have different pretty lady focuses. Um, but if I can put five good days into this, try to make it across the trees maybe, I think that would be great. Um, and I would be I would be satisfied with that for the year. 
Okay, up next is um, Not Quite White Work by Northern Expressions Needlework. I'm just going to insert a preview of what it's going to look like finished because I don't have one. Uh, this is a huge project. It's fabulous and it's a lot of fun to work on. Um, I know that uh, I sort of enabled Tracy to pull hers back out, which looks amazing. And then Letitia just recently started this, which looks amazing. <laughs> And uh, so they kind of enabled me to work on it again. I haven't been able to. Um, I worked on it for 32 before 19, but uh, not, not otherwise this year. This is on 36 Count Edinburgh Linen in Cream by Zweigert. Actually, I think it's called Cream Ivory. It doesn't matter, but that's what it's called. Uh, and... I just have the smallest of starts. I started this along with the sal. It was a mystery sal back in 2015. Yes, starting in 2015, early. Uh, and I don't even have part two done. Uh, but nonetheless, there is, there is my gorgeous not quite white work. I call this piece definitely not white work because when Nicole released this design, she asked if anybody was interested in any different sort of colorways. And I sort of made the, the comment that the original colorway looked very spring-like, so how about an autumn one? And then let's go from there. Let's take that as a jumping off point. How about the rest of the seasons? And because I asked for the autumn one, even though I loved the winter one, um, I decided to do the autumn version, which features zero white whatsoever. All of the Aussie gold. Uh, this is done entirely in dinky dyes, um, but it's all of the Aussie gold in this piece, as you can see. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting back to this. My goal for this is this left column of blocks, um, not including the alphabet at the bottom. So we've got the alphabet up here, and then the back half of the alphabet is down here at the bottom. Um, but I'm just going to do the specialty stitch blocks in the left column. I hope. <laughs> I hope I have time to do all that. Uh, so we'll see. See what happens. There is a big satin stitch block, which I think the hardest part about satin stitch for me, honestly, is just placement. It's really just placement, making sure that I get it in the right spot. So um, I don't think it'll be any problem to get that block done pretty quick. Like, And this, again, is on a fat half of 36 count. <laughs> Did I call 30, 40 count Edinburgh earlier? I might have. 40 count is Newcastle. You guys know this, but nonetheless. Okay, so left column of blacks on that. Okay, up next is my log dog, Opus 2, a.k.a. Maggie. <sighs> I really wanted to get this done this year, but it didn't happen, so I will get it done next year. This is on 32 Count Linen in Oyster by MCG Textiles. It's That's probably the reason why I didn't get it done this year. And here's where I'm starting from. I have just those two bottom corners to do. That's it. I've reached the bottom, I've reached the top, I've reached both sides. Just those two bottom corners. This is being done with uh, DMC 924. And I am obsessed. Do you guys want to see the back? I don't mind showing you the back of this one. Cool, huh? <laughs> uh, so anyway, so there is that. Goal for the year is as it has been for years, literally since 2016, um, finish. Would like to finish that one. Okay, up next is another one of those ones where if I'm like fixing for a new start, I can. Um, this is Paladin by Firewing Designs. Um, I'm also planning on doing Pilot and Messenger on this same fabric. As you guys know, it's for the uh, Targaryen dragons. Daenerys's three dragons. Uh, my, The one that I'm working on currently, Paladin, is uh, themed after Viserion. And that's where I'm at with him currently. 
Uh, he is being stitched in DMC 746, and then he will be completely outlined with uh, Petite Treasure Braid, um, I think be PB26, just in a bright gold. So that's where I'm at with that, and my goal is to finish Paladin. I don't have Pilot or Messenger in my stash, but um, I'm not doing no stash buying. I'm doing stitch from stash, so some accountability, but not no stash buy. Um, and so if I feel the need to start something, I can start Pilot and Messenger um, at some point during the year. Up next is a big one. The Prairie Scholar Alphabet. I'm going to finish all 26 letters plus the ampersand this year. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so kidding. Um, so this is ABC, and then I have DEF here, um, because my goal for the year is to finish through D is for drum. And I'm stitching this on 40 count Newcastle, and uh, this is Platinum by Zweigart. And I have A is for Anchor completed. I finished that up earlier this year. And I would like to get basically the three letters that I have started. Um, I would like to get those completed this year. I'm just basically going to make my goal three letters a year um, for the next 45 years to finish this. And yes, I know that three times 45 is not 27, but at the rate I'm going, <laughs> it's going to take about that long to finish this entire project. As you guys know, I'm doing this on three separate panels. Um, so this will have A through whatever, G-H-I, um, <laughs> I, can't, I can't think about the alphabet in blocks of nine, um, but they will be in blocks of nine per panel, including the ampersand. Um, and so I will do B is for blackbird, C is for cow, and D is for drum, or rum without D, uh, <laughs> before <laughs> uh, the end of the year. That's the goal. And I'm looking forward very much to getting back to this. I would very much like to work on this again. Okay. Up next is my Mill Hill focus for the year. And that is, um, let's see. No, that's not gonna work. I've got my needle minder sort of attached. Okay, so Perfect Christmas Santa by Mill Hill. Uh, Jim Shore, art for Mill Hill. A gift from the beloved Blimey Cat, Miss Brittany. And that's where I'm starting from. So that's my Mill Hill focus for the year, and I have another one to sub in if um, if I finish this. If and when. Um, and the goal is to finish it. Okay, up next is, that's just a placeholder, that's the chart. I will insert a preview here of Queen Anne's Lace by Nora Corbett. This is on... Uh, 28 count cashel in crystal ale. Nope, crystal wren. Just kidding. Wren by Picture This Plus. Uh, this was in the Just Cross Stitch April 2016 issue. I started this for Mania 2016, and I worked on skin recently for 32 before 19. And my goal for this is to finish it. It's a Nora Corbett. It's my only Nora Corbett uh, design currently which I think is just wild. I almost always have two or three of these going. Um, but I have just this one, and I'm going to try to finish it this year. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I will enjoy working on that. I always love working on this. Even when I had to rip out because I got everything off kilter, I still enjoy that. Okay, up next is my oldest whip. Rose Fairy by John Elliott. Started in July of 2014. I would have really, really liked to get my 2014 whips done this year. I don't want to carry them forward into 2020. High time. And this is on 28 Count Lugana in Confetti by Picture This Plus. You can tell it's old because I don't start anything on even weave anymore. Um... So there's where we are starting from. I have the skin in the bottom half done. I have most of the bottom half done, truth be told. 
Um, this flower bit goes all the way up both sides, um, but most of the bottom half is done before backstitch, so this is totally doable to get done next year. The color is not coming, aco coming across quite right. It's a yellow base with pinks and blues and greens kind of modeled through. It's very pretty, especially on this Lugana, which dyes so much lighter. So I'll try to finish that. Up next is something, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this, but then I look at it and I'm like, it's monochrome. Surely I should be able to finish this. Um, this is Scary Night 2 by Hand Blessings. Started with Melissa at, kind of, at uh, Stitch Fest 2018. Would love to have this finished in time for Halloween next year. I don't know if that's going to happen. This is on something that's going to turn me real blue. Uh, it's 32 Count Belfast in Dreamsicle by Under the Sea Fabrics. And I'm stitching it using Anchor Black. I just got this started at Stitch Fest. I didn't work on I haven't worked on it since. Um, but oh it didn't turn me as blue as I thought it would. It's also not showing up as bright as it normally is. Um, it's like a really rich orange color. With um it's not that harsh down here. It's not that harsh. So started up there in the tree. Lots to go. It's a big piece, but again, it's monochrome, and I'm using anchor black, so we'll see. See what happens. I don't have to get all of these goals done. Like it's not it's not a do or die kind of thing. Um, it's just a goal. Okay, up next is Spooky Countdown by the Primitive Hair. Preview here of what this will look like finished. This is on 32 Count Belfast in Gingerbread by Hand Dyed by Stephanie. And, oh, this one turns me blue. <laughs> um, so this is where I'm starting from. I have a long ways to go, but each of these blocks takes like a day. Or three <laughs> at most. So not bad. Um, this is using a mix of hand dyes and DMCs and anchor black. Oh, love it. Long way to go. Was supposed to have it done in time for Halloween this year. Hopefully I can have it done in time for Halloween next year. But I'm not going to be doing a Sunday sale or anything with it. It'll come up when it comes up. Uh, goal is the finish. Okay, up next is in a fancy project bag, in my VT project bag. Uh, this is Stargazer by Mirabilia with a VT needle minder. It's like Christmas. Christmas with my in-laws, we count the number of VT gifts. <laughs> I think the record one year was like 50-something. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is Mirabilia's Stargazer. I am doing a Virginia Tech-inspired conversion. This is also called Remembrance, or Remy. It's being done on 32 Count Belfast in Florin by Chromatic Alchemy. And... Here's where I'm at with this darling girl. Oh, she's so pretty. She looks like me. I'm just kidding. I'm not that vain. <laughs> um, so yeah, doing a, a VT conversion. This is much richer than it's showing. It's showing up very bright magenta-y. It's very much maroon. Um, so her jacket is in maroons. You guys know, I've, I've talked about this before, her uh, skirts are in stone colors and the front of her skirt are in sort of burnt orange shades. Shades. Love this piece. This is my Mirabilia focus this year. If I get nothing else done, then I want this done and my seven pages on in this moment, and that's it. <laughs> and some of you are going, well, why don't you just alternate between those two until they're done? Because that's not how I roll. I can't limit myself that much. So, there is that. Um, and she will get worked on for five days every single month until she's done. Hopefully, hopefully I can get that done and then get um, to some of my other mirrors because that's one of the ones where once I finish it, the goal, then something else is going to slide in for 2019. But we'll see what happens. Okay, up next is something that's going to be really easy to finish. Um, this is Summer by the Cricut Collection. It's going to take a few days, but these always... Um, they're, they're good for finishing stuff. 
This gorgeous nail miner. I can't wait to unlock that and be able to use it again. <laughs> uh, okay. This is on, I believe it's a 32. It looks like a 32 count in pastel lilac. The color of the fabric never comes through on camera and sometimes I can't even see it in real life. Um, it's just the palest pink you might have ever imagined. And so I have some done. And the big sunflower. And then I've started on the second M. Uh, still, I mean, a good little bit to go, but like half of the letters are done. Um, so a good few days would get this done. When this piece gets called for a focus week, um, it may get the additional days at the end of the month to get it finished. But we'll see what happens. So there is summer. And goal is to finish it. Okay, up next, Cooler Design Studio. I talked about the fact that my Kohler Design focus project for the year was supposed to be an Enchanted January, um, which was the carousel horse. However, <laughs> I decided to go with the other one. Um, and the reason for that is that my goal for this is five days. I have so many Krynex to buy for the Enchanted January and I would really like to do a no by January. So if I can get through January without buy, having to buy Krynix, that would be great. So I just decided to switch to this one. It's the only, it's one of the only ones where I was just like, I'm just going to go with a different one rather than the oldest. Technically, I started them on the same day. It's just that I started with an Enchanted January, but whatever. Um, so anyway, that's just me justifying. Uh, Again, Summer Sampler, Cooler Design Studio. I love this project. It's so much fun. The colors are great. It's detailed. It's huge. It's going to take 85 years to finish. It's fine. It'll be a retirement piece. Uh, 32 Count Belfast in Cream by Zweigart. I worked on this for 32 before 19. And I finished up this shell. And I started about the, the frame around the picture of the kids. Uh, building sandcastles. Mm, I love this. I was having so much fun while working on this. A lot of these 32 before 19 projects, I was like, I just, I, I had a hard time working on them for such a limited amount of time, or uh, I was trying to do too many things, or I just wasn't, I was kind of over it, because you know me, I get over things. Um, <laughs> but this, I could have worked on for like, weeks. Probably not, but anyway. So that's Summer Sampler. Um, and the goal for that is just five days. I think I mentioned that. Okay, up next is a recent start. Um, this is Temperature Balloons by Stitch and Mommy. This is one of those designs that you input the information. Um, you stitch it according to the... Um, the temperatures and there's a range of colors and whatnot. Anyway, uh, so I got started on it because she designed it in a way that I could and so I stitched one of the clouds. So even though I don't have the information just yet, oh you can barely see it, you see that little cloud there? This fabric is uh, 32 Belfast in Snowdrifts by Hand Dyed by Stephanie. This was a recent fabric of the month. It barely shows up here on camera but Again, everything's kind of washed out. You can still, it's still barely there, but you can see it in person. And then I have gridded up to the top so I know that everything's placed correctly when we get started here in January. I have decided that I'm going to make this, um, I'm going to do Blacksburg's temperatures. Um, so I guess you could call this a Virginia Tech piece too. Um, so I'm going to pull information regarding Blacksburg weather to stitch my temperature balloons. The reason I did that is that Blacksburg weather is so fascinating. Um, it's really one of those places where you can experience an entire year's worth of seasons in one day. Um, and I have I have lived that, so I know that it's the case. It's, it's fun weather, plus, you know, I love Blacksburg, so there we go. Um, and the goal for that is to finish it um, before the end of the year, but because I'll be keeping up with it, 
every month. Like, it shouldn't be a problem. Up next is another piece. It's, it's a piece that I consider working on through the end of the year um, because I'm really excited about getting it finished. Under the Moonlight by Passione de Gamo. <sighs> Love this. This is another 2014 whip. I worked on it recently for 32 before 19, and I just, I had a ball, and all I was working on was skin, but I was really enjoying it. And I can't wait to unlock these needle minders, my rainbow horn narwhal, and my little zombie mermaid who, unless you tilt her up the right way, she kind of looks like her head's broken. Anyway, very cool. This is on 28 count cashew linen in Under the Moonlight by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I have said over the years that I wasn't sure if it was 28 or 32 or what it was, but I recently measured it and I'm getting 15 stitches to the inch, which makes sense if it was a 28 count before it went through the dyeing process. So now it's more of a 30 count um, and that's why I'm getting 15 stitches to the inch. This is not a fat half, it's ginormous. That's a passione we come away. I started this as the mystery sal in 2014 and then fell off because skin went over one and a gigantic mermaid. <laughs> um, but really that's the majority of what I have left. I have just the rest of her torso, just that little bit. I mean, it's like a thousand stitches in there, but still. Um, her hair beating. Lots of beating. And then she'll be done. And I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, so much fun. So there's my mermaid. Hopefully she will finally get done this year. I'm really excited to work on her um, in a way that I haven't for the last couple years. So there's that. Last one. <laughs> last one, you guys. In section one. Uh, with My Needle by The Good Huswife. Recent start, I don't think I've shown this on video before, um, but nonetheless, I got it started recently. This is also called Emma. And also, hashtag I didn't pay a billion, a billion pounds for that. Or a million. Are we going with a million? Okay, a million. This is on 28 count Kasha Linen. I do not remember the color name. Amber Waves by Silk Weaver. Um, I purchased this in a D stash from Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Uh, and it was the absolute perfect fabric for this. Oh, look, it turns me really blue. <laughs> um, it's, like a, it's like a honey golden yellow color. And I am stitching this using the DMCs. It's charted in either DMC or NPI. Um, so I'm just going with the, the DMCs. I thought about going Fancy Floss, but um, decided against it. And so that's what I got to. Oh, I love this. Cannot wait to get back to it. I really wanted to start in the middle and start with Emma herself, but um, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it because I don't like working upwards. So I just decided to start with this, and then I'll save the fun stuff for later. My goal for this piece is just five days. That progress is what I did in one day. So I think that with five days, maybe I could finish the text. Oh, I don't know. Jess, you're being ambitious. Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what I get done with, with five days effort on this. And there might be even more time spent on this piece because I do love it so very much. Such fun. Okay, section one is done. That's 36 of 75, so we are almost halfway already. Not too bad, not too bad. So I'm going to pause here and I will be back with section two. Okay, now, everything from here on out should go a little bit faster because I don't have goals for next year with them. And also, they are not alphabetical at all, so we're going to get everything all mixed in. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think. I hope you guys enjoy that, uh, that it's going to be a little bit a little bit random. Uh, so we're going to start with the project that I'm working on uh, up until midnight. 
unless I have that sneaky new start that I just talked about. Um, and that is my Chatelaine. Uh, this is Hortus Venenum, aka Poison Garden. And I've got it loaded up on my gigantic frame, as you can see. Um, but let me bring it in a little close so that you guys can see where I'm up to. Fancy, I can rest that on the two stacks and still have a pointer hand. That's great. Um, do I need something back there? Maybe that makes things easier to see, I'm not sure. Um, so I've been working on this for the last couple of days. I had Danny spin my whips and I told him to keep spinning until there was something that came up that I felt like working on and also something that's not a focus for next year. And I'm heartbroken that this is not a focus for next year because I've absolutely, absolutely loved working on this these last couple of days. It's so much fun. Um, and this is on 28 count antique white cashew linen. It came with the kit from European Cross Stitch. Um, and it's just, it's just a lot of fun using all of the called for threads and whatnot. Sorry for the needle miner that scares half of you. I love it. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, it's just been a joy to work on, and I think it's kind of cool that I'm finishing out the year in the same way I've started it, because this was my new year, new start for 2018. So anyway, I'm hoping to work some more in this section here. I don't think I'm going to get it finished. There's a lot of stitching going on in there, and uh, I have a big editing <laughs> task ahead of me, so we'll see what happens. We'll see how far I get this year, and... Maybe it'll come out next year after I reach my goal on the other shadow lanes. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, next we're going to do the things that are in fancy project bags, and then we'll be just kind of going straight through everything else that I've got all stacked up. So, in my other Virginia Tech project bag, this one I kind of affected the zipper a little bit. There we go. This is Snow Queen by Marabilia. I love this project. <laughs> it's so pretty. Uh, I worked on this recently for 32 before 2019. And this is on a... I recently discovered, again, that this is a 28 count. Or it was before it was painted. It's fine. I already did the math to be sure that it will fit. Um, I had ordered a 32 count but I think that it was actually a, a, a cashel. It's all right, like I said. Um, this is 28 count cashel in Opalescent Darkness Falls by Under the Sea Fabrics. It's a painted fabric, so you get the dark on the top and the light on the bottom, and it's stunning and it's so much richer in person, but nonetheless, that's how it goes. So I did a hodgepodge of things. Um, I continued working on the reins. I did a hand. Um, so I did a little bit of skin, um, and I started on some of the blue in her gown. So let me pull out that cover again, um, just, so that, just so that you guys can see what the heck is going on. So this hand right here that's kind of holding the reins against her chest, and right in there, that's what I did. So, I mean, just a world <laughs> of progress left to be made on this piece, uh, but that's okay. It's going to be a slow whip, but it will get its time Okay, up next in the first of my three Mamali bags, uh, this gorgeousness here with the green inside. This is, uh, I can't wait to finish Spooky Countdown so that I can focus on this. Um, this is Witches of Salem by the Primitive Hair. And I am so excited to work on this. Whenever I can, as soon as I can. Um, and this is being done on a 28 count Meron linen from XJU Design. It's um, in the colorway Gold Sand. And it's um, just fabulous. Again, turning me blue, but that's okay. This is using a mix of hand dyed threads from Stash some color and cotton, some gas, some classic, classic color works. And then anchor black because I can't get away from it. And uh, yeah, like I said, I adore this. 
I cannot wait to get back to this. So I told you guys that um, most of these are probably not going to get worked on next year. However, October, I think I'm going to do like I did in October this year. And so I will work on whatever comes up. Um, so this may get some love next October. We'll see. In my Calaveras Molly bag, gorgeous black and white. And then the inside fabric gets me every time. I don't know what it is, but that print just makes me so happy. Uh, this is Hocus Pocus by the Prairie Schooler. With Wednesday Adams needle minder because on Wednesdays we stitch black. Another piece that I am so sad did not make the cut for this year. Uh, this is on 32 Count Belfast in Cream by Zweigart. And I got the first two blocks done this year when I started it in October of this year. Oh, that looks so good. Using Anchor Black because, of course, yeah, love this. Love this. It will be a quick stitch. Pretty quick. I think I put in four days total and got those two blocks in because it's just a ton of black. So uh, that would be that would be really great to <laughs> work on next October, I suppose. Or as soon as I get my three letters of the Prairie Schooler alphabet done, this may come up again. It may replace my Prairie Schooler in that slot. Um, and then in my Stitching May line bag, this gorgeous, crazy, they almost look like venomous plants print. And uh, this gorgeous blue and yellow inner print. Um, in here is my Prairie Moon. No, Prairie Moon. Fairy Moon. It's the skull that got me. Fairy Moon by Mirabilia. Love this. This is an original print from 93. And mine is on something that's never going to show. It's so purple on camera. This is 32 Belfast in Shadow by Picture This Plus. Is it 32? Nope, 28 Cashel. Um, it's a fat half because fair, Fairy Moon is huge. Um, and it goes like this. And I uh, rotated her, so she's... Or, mirrored her rather so she's facing the opposite direction from the pattern and so that's where I'm at currently I have the moon stitching done there's a ton of beading to go in to fill that moon in and then I have her face and those weird threads hanging down from her face I think I am going to fix her face though because it looks a little too round I mean I'm a little round but <laughs> at least my face anyway I don't know. I just think that maybe maybe this would benefit from being um, should be a, should might look a little nicer with a thinner face. So we'll see. See what happens. Um, and so that is where that big beauty will stay until I'd like to get to that sooner rather than later. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I've organized my mirabilias in a certain order, and unfortunately, this one. Like, it's never going to happen. I'm never going to get to it next year. So, um, hopefully in 2020. Okay, that's it for the Fancy Project Bags projects. Now let's just run through everything else. Um, so, up next we have October by the Cricut Collection. I worked on this recently for 32 before 19. This gorgeous minder here. This is on 32 count Belfast in Gingerbread by Picture This Plus. It's one of my favorites in Picture This Plus. I have just the barest little start on it. I started it for Dark October Stitching last year, um, but that's okay. I filled in the pale shade on the pumpkin and then did these vines on the side. So uh, that's what I accomplished here most recently. It, the fabric is so much richer than it's showing, but if you guys know gingerbread, like my reader, um, then you know what gingerbread is supposed to look like. 
Okay, up next is one that didn't get enough progress during 32 before 19. Um, I love this project so much that I almost said skip it on the Rose Fairy. I want to work on this next year. But Rose Fairy is so old that I just need it done. I don't want any more 2014 whips, so this is going to have to wait. Earth Goddess started in January of 2017. Hadn't worked on it since January 2017. Oh my goodness, but I do love it. Um, it didn't get enough love because what I decided to do was if I didn't have the thread, if I didn't have the color in my kit for the project, I wasn't cutting a new piece of thread because this may not get worked on until 2020. There's no sense in clipping threads and having it sit there for over a year. So my progress was super sad. This fabric is going to look familiar. It looks an awful lot like um, Claire by Hand Dyed by Stephanie. It is Hand Dyed by Stephanie in dried thistle. Um, and it looks pretty much the same color, which is all right by me. Um, so what I did was I filled in the two darker shades on this mushroom cap over here. That's all I was able to do because I didn't have any of the skirt colors in my kit and, and either the... Um, the back skirt or the front of her skirts. I didn't have any of that. So I just decided to do with that. And that's where it will sit. I cannot wait to work on this again. I think that this is the next in line on my Joan Elliott's. So if I can get Rose Fairy done, lickety split, then this could come out sooner rather than later. Up next is my alternate Mill Hill kit. This is Owl by uh, Jim Shore for Mill Hill. Um, I started this on Christmas Day. Just in case I finish Perfect Christmas Santa, I need to have a Mill Hill on the go. Um, these were all a gift from Brittany at Blimey Cat Stitches uh, because she knows when I get migraines, if it's not so bad, I can work on these. And so I wanted to have one ready to go in case Perfect Christmas Santa gets done and then I've got a migraine and I feel like stitching. You guys know. You understand. Um, and so that's where I got done. So his hat is basically done. I just haven't done the holly or the beads, obviously. Uh, so that's where that one will sit until it gets subbed in. Up next was recently worked on for 32 before 19. This is Ladybird Fairy by Joan Elliott. I had three Jones that I hadn't yet worked on this year, um, and five at the beginning of the year total, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's a lot of Joan, but I love her stuff. Anyway, um, this was started for Joan July 2017. I wasn't loving working on this because the fabric is really strange. Um, it's 32 Belfast by Picture This Plus in Glacier. But it's really dry. Um, it's not super soft. And the dye process on this, for whatever reason, really shrunk the fabric. So it's more like a 36 count. Um, anyway, so when I worked on it this time, I really enjoyed it. I didn't love it so much in July. And maybe it's because of all of the starts in 2017. Uh, but working on it this time, I had a lot of fun. And all I did was fill in the wing. That's, I mean, it was really boring, but it was, it was, it was fun nonetheless. This fabric color is gorgeous. It is glacier, yes. Um, and it's like a dark minty blue, as you might expect for glacier. Love it. I do love that fabric color. Stitching on it's really different. I'm not used to two over two on 36 count. Um, and that's what I'm, what I feel like I'm doing with this, but anyway. Uh, here's a project I considered UFOing. I still might. Um, it's Garden Muses by Mirabilia. I don't know that I love my fabric choice for this. I love the fabric. It's beautiful. I don't know that I love it for this. I worry that it's too dark. Um, this I worked on for about 12 minutes during 32 before 19. I just did one thread. Um, it's on 32 Belfast in Evergreen. It's beautiful. I'm just worried it's too dark. It's a deep greeny blue, pretty accurately showing there, actually. Maybe a little bit brighter. 
a little bit greener. Um, and I just worry that it's too dark. I don't know. So that's where I'm at. Um, you, you can't tell what's going on here because it still looks like a Rorschach test. Uh, but there's the vines that are coming off the sides here, and this is her hair. So I'm already into the first girl's hair. I love this project. I love the design. I just worry that this fabric is too dark. So I'm not going to UFO it anytime soon because it's not a focus mirror anytime soon. Um, it can wait until I have time to work on it and I can make that decision. Um, it's really strange to be showing you guys these projects because they are not going to change much next year. A lot of them aren't. Okay, up next is Tingles by Lizzie Kate. Um, and again, just like Jingles, it's one of those series. This was started in 2017, so two years after Jingles, and I have almost the same amount done between the two of them, which is just wild, but nonetheless. Uh, this is on 32 Count Linen by Witchelt in Milk Chocolate. Maybe this is, maybe this is 28 Count. Actually, I think this is 28 count. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's 28 count. Uh, milk chocolate, it's so stiff. <laughs> um, but this is where I'm at currently with it. Yeah, can't wait to finish Jingles so I can work on this. And then maybe I can have both of those sets done. Wouldn't that be great? This is using, whereas Jingles I'm using mostly called for, this is mostly not called for. These were substitutions from Stash. I think I'm doing mostly wig style works, um, but it could be a hodgepodge of things. It's so stiff. Okay, up next is a favorite Snow Castle artwork by Randall Spangler, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I love this. I'm sad I'm not working on it next year, but I, I gotta focus on it in this moment, and I'm excited to work on it in this moment a lot. So this is on 25 count, easy count, Lugana by Zweigart. And this is what I have done. Top row of pages, first three pages are done. Very exciting. And then I have just the simplest of little starts on page four here. I wasn't feeling this when I worked on it. In April, I think, is the last time I worked on it. It's showing up pretty good there. I mean, if I get super close, you guys are going to see. No, you really can't. It looks good. <laughs> There's some coverage issues, um, just because it's also very dark. Uh, I stitched my Hades 1 over 1 full crosses. So Here's my snow castle. Gosh, I miss this already. I do. I really miss it. Um, Next year, maybe 2020, we'll see. Uh, here's another Heaven and Earth design. I don't necessarily miss this one as much, so I'm not super bummed that I'm not gonna get to work on it. I do love it, don't get me wrong, it's just that like those two are really the two that I really feel like working on. Um, so this is mini pirate artwork by Sabine Rich, again, for Heaven and Earth designs. And I worked on this in April, and not since. This is on 25 Count Lagana in Cream by Swagger, I think. The rest are either on cream or the easy count. Um, and I started this in 2015, and I have page one done, and page two with a fairly decent start. Um, and like a bajillion threads part. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, this says this will come out in 2020. If I get my seven pages done, I think I've talked about this beforehand, but if I get my seven pages done, this will come out to finish page two, but we'll we'll see what happens. We will see. Okay, up next is another Cricut collection. This is January. Started two years ago tomorrow. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Uh, this was my New Year new start in 2017. This is on 28 Count Cashel in Ice Blue by Zweigart. And I have a really weird start because when I started this, I wanted to work my way all the way across the word itself. And then when I worked on this, I think it was Arbitrary August, um, I focused on the angel for at J. 
right there. So that is where this project will stand. Um, is this my second oldest Cricut? I'm not sure. It may come out after I finish summer, but we'll see. I need to get back on this monthly series um, and get it get it going again. Up next is another one that I worked on for 32 before 19. I gotta tell you guys, when I first started this, I wasn't feeling it, and then when I pulled it out recently, I was like, you know, this is good. This is pretty good. Um, this is Aphrodite Mermaid by Mirabilia. Not gonna get a focus for a very long time. Uh, this is on 32 Count Belfast in Keone by Under the Sea Fabrics. And I just worked in hair. Um, I did a few lengths of thread in her hair. Not much, and this is two days effort. Once for Mania when I started it, and then once here recently for 32 before 19. So yeah, not a ton of progress on this piece in uh, two years. But that's how it goes sometimes when you have so many and you start so many for just, just to start things. Up next, I need this book again. Uh, this is the... July Quilt from Paula Vaughn's Quilts for All Seasons. Love this. Super enjoyed working on this. I think this was a randomly chosen project that I worked on in, in July for some reason. Um, and just had a lot of fun working on it. Unfortunately, this is my newest from this book. So it will be my last to be focused on. And it is being done on a 28 count cashew linen in antique white. This is my only one that's on 28 count, um, which is okay. That's fine. Um, and I started this in December of 2016. And so that's where I'm at. So you can see I've worked on the siding and the rose, the rose is up here. And then I came down and worked on the porch swing a little bit. So no quilt yet on this one. Uh, but that's okay. I will get to this <laughs> in a couple years. I feel really weird saying that. Like, I don't know, that just doesn't sit so well with me. Okay, up next, I don't have a cover for, so, so I will insert a preview of it here. This is the Stark House Banner by Lolita Made on Etsy. Um, and this is being done on Valerian Steel, 32 Count Belfast by... Handled by Stephanie. I'm stitching it using DMC 712, I think. And oh, I love it. I do so love it. So one thing I didn't tell you guys about my whips for 2019 is that I made Etsy one designer. So if I have I think I have like 10 projects probably in total from Etsy. Um in a range of designers, but they all go into that one Etsy category. Uh, just to just to limit things a little bit more. So this is not going to be a focus for a good little while. As much as I would love to work on it in April, um, I have another Game of Thrones piece that I can work on in April if I if I need that. Um, but we'll see. So there is that. I do love this. Much fun. Maybe in a couple years. Maybe I'll work on that when the next book comes out. <laughs> okay, and I don't mean these offshoot books like Fire and Blood. I don't mean that. I mean the next book in the Song of Ice and Fire series. Okay, rant over. Personal Sunshine by Heaven and Earth. This beauty. I've nicknamed this piece Amy. Um, for a multitude of reasons, but... When I pulled this out to work on for 32 before 19, I noticed something about this. It's purple and black, which is a very Amy thing. And these needle minders I chose years ago for this piece. So like this is this is before I got to know Amy. Um, Amityville. Coffee, a purple pumpkin, and a very gothic looking cross. So Amy. Anyway, so there is my personal sunshine. AKA Amy. 
this is on 25 Count Lugana in Antique White. Nope, Cream by Zweigart. Oh yeah, this is a sideways project, so it goes like this. Um, and so I worked on one of the weird little purple clouds um, when I pulled this out. And I just did, I think, 300 stitches total, just to say I worked on it this year. This won't be a focus hate for a long time. That's all right. I will love on this project for as many years as I have it. Okay, next is Santa Coming to Town by Stitchrovia. Again, Etsy, so uh, that's the way that that will crumble. The only exception to that was the primitive hair. I don't necessarily think of the primitive hair as an Etsy designer even though I got those designs on Etsy. I just think of them separately. Anyway, um, Saints Coming to Town, Stitchrovia, done on 32 Count Belfast in Ice Crystals by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. You guys saw this recently, or, well, <laughs> I think in my last update video. Um, I worked on this for a few days to basically finish out the top half. I thought about working on this through the end of the year to try to get it finished, but uh, this was after Christmas, and kind of after Christmas, I'm done with Christmas. <laughs> Moving on. So, anyway, hopefully this will get worked on at some point next year. Or not next year, um, in the years to come. Up next is that alternate cooler design studio that I told you guys about. Uh, this is an Enchanted January, and it comes from this book. Uh, carousel horses and cross stitch and let me pull up the January one so that's what this will look like finished but this features so much Krynik so much Krynik now it's charted to be stitched 3 over 1 on 14 count it seems to be the way of Kohler Design Studios um, but I'm doing 2 over 2 on 28 count um, and it also calls for Krynik blending filament, but I think that I'm going to blend one strand of DMC with one strand of Krynik number four braid um, instead of this two strands of DMC with one strand of blending filament. I'm not going to mess with the blending filament. Um, instead, I think I will just get Krynik number fours for all of them. There's like, honest to goodness, there's like probably 10 to 15 of them called for. Um... And since I don't have those yet, I mean, I might have some of them, but I wasn't digging around for them when I worked on this for 32 before 19. Um, I was very limited to what I could work on. And so I did some of the scroll work. And that's really all I could do without those crinics. So, say lovey. Uh, I got it worked on a little bit this year so that when I don't get to it until 2020, that's okay. Oh, this has got to be my next Cricut Collection, not January. August. <laughs> Buy the Cricut Collection. Love this one. Super, super fun. This is on Confederate Gray Zw uh, Zweigart Belfast. Nope, just kidding. Pearl Gray. And so I have the letter U done and then some, most of the lobster in there. And that is, the letters are done on this one in Thread Gather, Silken Colors, um, Slate Blue. Very pretty. I love working with Thread Gather. It's a lot of fun. So that is where I got to with that one. Did I work on that for 32 before 19? I think so. Okay. Up next, uh, insert preview here. This is Horror Movie Alphabet by Clouds Factory. I cannot wait for this to be my Clouds Factory focus. It will be after Haunted House. This was started in 2016. And yeah, love this. Absolutely love it. This is on 32 Belfast in Lycan's Moon, aka Dried Blood. As you can see there, I started on uh, Michael Myers. No. 
No. Not Michael Myers. Yes. What am I thinking? Michael Myers. Yes. Um, but I have to rip that out and re-stitch it because my stitches look awful. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, this will hopefully... If I can get my two pages on Haunted House done, then this will come out. Or it'll come out maybe next October. So that could get some attention next year. We'll see. Up next is another Clouds Factory. This is Game of Thrones House Banners. Love it very, very much. This is on 28 Count Cashel in Ale by Pictures This Plus. I worked on this for 32 before 19 and I just, I really enjoyed it. Um, I worked on the castle at Vale Aaron and then got a bare little start on the banner for Aaron. So, just, just got it done. Just got it started, rather. Um, this is another Mania 2016 start that won't see some love for probably a while. Okay, up next is my oldest Mira. It is not going to be my next focus Mira, um, but it will be after that. <laughs> so this is, I guess, third in line. So we have Stargazer, and then one, and then this one. Um, so it could get worked on next year, depending on how quick the other two go. Raven Queen. And I have an Edgar Allan Poe quote minder there. This is my oldest Mira. started in 2015. And a, a bunch of people are focusing on their uh, Raven Queens next year, and I wanted to jump along. But there's also a bunch of us doing Stargazer, so uh, that'll be fun as well. This is on 32 Belfast in Haunted by Picture This Plus. And that is where I am up to at this point. So bottom half well underway, top half not even started. Uh, because I did mirrors very differently back then. Um, so hopefully, like I said, hopefully this will come out next year. That would be that would be pretty fabulous. But we'll see what happens. Okay, everybody, last section. Um, I knew that these, these last ones would go pretty quick, so that's a good thing. All right, so up next, we have another beloved Hade that won't see love for a long time. This is Alice in a Dolly Dream artwork by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I do so love this, but it's uh, one of my newest Hades, so it's not going to get love for a while. And <laughs> my start on it is way over here. So is it like that? It's like that. Okay, there we go. So I did just 200 stitches. I did this block and then the next one below it. Uh, when I worked on this for 32 before 19, this is on 25 count, easy count Lugana by Zweigart. I love this and I am <sighs> gonna miss it. <laughs> but in this moment, will will tide me over. I know it will. Seeing all of these, it makes me want to work on them all, um, as wet parades do. But in this moment, will. Seeing that progress will satisfy me. I'm almost sure of it. Let's hope. <laughs> okay, up next is another Mira. This is Portrait of Veronica. And I started this for Mania 17 and worked on it for 32 before 19. Um, so my progress is minimal. Um, but that's how it goes. Uh, this is... 32 Count Belfast in Mint by Picture This Plus. And I worked on hair for uh, 32 before 19. I love her, the shades in her hair. Um, they're, they're good, like ready browns. I like it. Very Auburn. Pretty. Um, and so I will look forward to working on her <laughs> in a few years. Okay. <laughs> Up next is a favorite of both mine and Floss Tubes. This is Bluebeard's Princess Mirabella by Mirabilia. 
And I started this in 2016 thinking that I was going to finish it in a month and then stopped working on it because I couldn't do that monogamous thing. Um, and when I worked on it recently, I worked on the shell. Skin 1 over 1. I should have said that a long time ago, but basically everything is skin 1 over 1. This is on 32 Count Belfast in NYX by Under the Sea Fabrics. And she will be at Focus Mira sooner than most. Um, I think after Raven Queen, she's next on the list. So that's cool. Okay, up next is a Heaven Earth design that I might cheat and work on in uh, 2019. It is Avarice, artwork by Marta Zalig. But this is the piece that I work on for our anniversary every year, and so I just kind of feel like it's okay if I work on this for one day or two. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens if I get to it. That's what I have bagged up for some reason. A little bit of crinkle for those of you who like it, but only a little bit for those you don't. <laughs> a 25 count easy count Logana. This is another huge piece because that's all I do. Uh, if I start a hate, I go all in for the massive. And so this is where I'm at on page one. Uh, just that top corner. Some fairly decent progress in the last couple years. I started this in 26, 2017 for our first wedding anniversary, Danny and I's. Um, and worked on it again this year for a couple days. Yeah, I love this. I love I love working on this. And um, yeah, I think that this will come out in June for a couple days. Because um, this piece, it's okay if I break my own rules, right? Right? Hades and Miras. <laughs> That's pretty much what my what my projects are. Hades and Miras and then a mix of a bunch of other things. Queen Mermaid. This is being done on 32 count Belfast in um, As You Wish by Under the Sea Fabrics. And I worked on this for 32 before 19 and I did a lot. <laughs> I did a lot on this piece for that event. Um, so I worked on the sashes, is what I'm going to call them. I don't know what they're called, but nonetheless, I, I did quite a bit of stitching on this the day that it came up. I do love this piece. It's not a focus for a while, but it's a 2016 start, so we'll see. We will see how it goes in the coming years. Okay, up next is my last quilt. And this is the November quilt uh, from Quilts for All Seasons by Paula Vaughn. So let me pull out this book and show you what this will look like finished. This is my favorite. <laughs> it's the Maple Leaf Watermelon Quilt. Very autumnal with pumpkins and all. Um, this is also the smallest one of the three that I have going. So maybe once I finish August quilt, this could come out and see some good progress. I worked on this in 32 before 2019. And so I did the half stitch in the background here. Um, and then I worked in the quilt. Um, I got a part of the wagon done and then worked in the quilt some for its day that it was out. It's a mess of things. There's a ton of colors. There's a ton of fractionals. Um, the quilt is beta basically entirely of fractionals. Uh, but that's okay. That's all right. So hopefully when I work on this, I can get some more good headway into that quilt. But we'll see if and when that happens. Okay, up next is another Etsy designer. Preview here of what this will look like finished. This is my C3PO Sugar Skull. Uh, the designer here is Stitch Line. And I have just the one top corner done. 
one top page. Um, it is DMC 3799 on 32 Count Belfast in Vintage Stormy Clouds by Zweigart. Um, November Quilt is on 32 Cream Belfast Lemon. Anyway, um, <laughs> I think that's the only time I've forgotten to explain. Anyway, love this. Worked on it in October, um, and I will... It's going to be a while before I get to this. This is an Etsy designer, so it goes in that category, so to speak. Um, here's another one in that category. This is the Quotes to Live By. Do I have a preview? I have a preview of the top, but you guys know what quotes looks like. Or I'll insert a preview here of what it looks like. Um, this is being done on 32 count Winter Wishes Belfast by Hand Eye by Stephanie. And I think I worked on this for Arbitrary August, if memory serves. And I worked in this block here. And I, I love this. I love how soft the color of the fabric is. Um, especially paired with those brights that Emma uses, Emma Congdon. Um, but this is, <laughs> it's an Etsy designer, so at least that's what I'm calling it, and that's where I got the pattern. So, oh look, another mirror. Garden Beauty. I love this one. This one is one of those ones where I'm really sad that it's not a focus and it won't be for a while, but that's okay. It's all right. I got to stop harping on that. Um, this is 32 Count Belfast in Caradwen by Hand Eyed by Stephanie. I worked on this for Arbitrary August, I think, and I made some really good progress for those two days. Worked on the garland. Haven't reached her yet. Haven't reached the actual beauty, just the garden. <laughs> Maybe in 2020, we'll see. This year, I am doing, for the most part, the oldest from each designer. So maybe, and we'll see how it, how it shakes out, but maybe in 2020, I'll do this again, but maybe I'll choose which one from each designer. So I'll get to work on some of my favorites. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. Okay, up next is my other dimensions. This is Wise Owl. And again, I subbed out the fabric. This is my Mad Eye Owl Needle Liner. It's missing an eyeball. It's fine. Um, <laughs> it's rolling around somewhere. Um, and I am stitching this on 28 count cashel in antique white from Zygart. So the same thing as the other dimensions for the same reasons. If I'm gonna have to stitch half stitch with six strands, 28 count uh, is the way to go. Um, I started this 2017 with the hopes of working on it on my Q-snap while I was working from home. And then I didn't work on it again until 32 before 2019. Um, but that's okay. Um, it's mostly half stitches going on here. In fact, it's entirely half stitches thus far. In the background, it's all half stitch with three strands, I think. Something like that. Regardless, um, so I just started in the top left corner, and I'm working on the tree. Uh, and we'll see when this gets love again. With Glory of Autumn only being a half page goal, or a one page goal rather, um, this could come out next year to fill that dimension spot for the same goal. We'll see. Up next is another Etsy designer. This box seems to be all heads and Etsy designers. <laughs> Uh, this is Halloween and Quilt. Designer is Kure E Batikure. Another one of those designs that I started to work in a Q-snap and then never did. Um, 32 Count Belfast Linen in Cream by Zweigart. I worked on this for 32 before 19. And it's another one of those where I didn't quite get very far because I didn't have the threads pulled for it and I wasn't going to add more knowing that it could sit until 2020 before I work on this again. Or I could work on it next October, but we'll see if that comes, if that happens. Um, and so I worked some more in the house and then a bat and a ghost. And that's what I did here in 2018. 32 Count Belfast in Cream by Swaggart. Like I said, a lot of my projects are on that. I just, I like it. 
Okay, up next is another Chatelaine, so I will insert a preview of what it will look like here. Uh, this is Bold Band Sampler number three. This I started during Mania 2016, and I don't have the kit for this. Um, it's a really reasonable kit. I think it's like $35 without the fabric, something like that. Um, there's not a whole lot of specialty threads in this one, just a, just a couple. And then, of course, the beads. Um, and so I worked on this for 32 before 2019. Did I say fabric? 28 count cash out. Um, worked on this for, for 32 before 2019. Um, I worked on the pale pink along this border here, um, this sort of intersection here, and then I ran out. Again, not cutting threads. So then I worked on this more fuchsia, bright pink, very inner border. That's it. This one can sit for a while though. Of my three current Chatelaines, this is not my favorite. Um, I love it, it's beautiful. I wouldn't have started it if I didn't love it. It's just not my favorite, because we all have favorites. Um, oh look, another hate. <laughs> this is a beloved, it's a favorite on Floss Tube, and I totally get it. This is April, AKA Mika, because those blows. Uh, love this. Artwork by Anna Dittman. Fabric is 25 count Lugana in um, Antique White by Zweigart. Another one that I'm sad is not a focus for a while, but I will sort of numb the pain within this moment. <laughs> and I have three pages done on this one thus far. And so that's where I am at currently. I worked on this for 32 before 19 because I hadn't worked on it yet this year. And I did 300 stitches on page three. So yeah, quite a ways to go yet on this one, um, but she'll be a focus in a couple years. Hopefully, I sure hope so. I do love this piece, and it was supposed to be a focus this year, but it just never came together. The problem is that I feel really guilty about my old stuff. Um, I want to be one of those people that doesn't carry forward projects from a long time ago, and I'm reaching that point. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, two more. Two more. We, this is insane. Once I finish Stargazer, this is my next focus, Mirabilia. Um, and this is Touching the Autumn Sky, um, a beloved out-of-print pattern. This was lent to me by a dear friend. I will either be sending it on to whomever they decide, or I'll send it back to them. Totally up to them. Uh, but I would like to get this done so that we can get that, get that going. Um, and so that will be, that will be that. This is on. 32 Count Belfast in Moana by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. I was a little unsure about this fabric, but I started it and I love it. And I'm super excited about this fabric. Um, choice of mine. Um, so I started in the top left corner and I got in some of those autumn leaf shades and it just made me so happy. Uh, just my favorite, gotta love the autumn. So this is a really quick one. She's pretty little, uh, 180 by 170. So um, that is half of Lady of the Flag. She's half of Lady of the Flag. So yeah, I, I totally think I could get this done pretty quickly once I get Stargazer done. And Stargazer doesn't seem to be um, an, a super elaborate mirror either. So um, possibly two mirror finishes this year. Oh my goodness. That would be cool. Um, so there is that one. You guys, the last one. And it's one of my favorite fabrics um, of all of these. This is a Joan Elliott. And it is coming from this book here, uh, Fairy Enchantment. I don't know if this book is still available, um, but maybe. 
Um, and the one that I'm doing is called Once Upon a Time. And I'm going to pull up the big one. Maybe. There it is. So that is what this design will look like finished. Fairies reading stories. Perfect. Love it. Um, and like I said, one of my favorite fabrics. This is 32 Count Belfast in, G in Iris, excuse me, by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. Who do I love this fabric? It just, it's so much brighter than I would normally go for, but I just, it's just pretty. It's just really pretty. And uh, so that is where I am up to at this point. I just worked on this very recently. Um, this is one of... This might have, no it wasn't, never mind. This was one of my last projects for 32 before 19. Earth Goddess was my absolute last. Um, and so I worked up this way. I did some of the clouds, but I was having the most horrendous issue with knots. Most of the times I can feel the knots when they happen, but these I couldn't, and so I just kind of wove them in there as best I could. <laughs> Um, so I skipped finishing up the white business and then uh, continued on with the castle. And so not as rich as it is in real life. It's gorgeous blues and purples. Beautiful fabric. And that concludes Whip Parade 2018. Oh my goodness. Isn't that fun? Gosh, I love wet parades, and I love that a lot of people are doing them here at the end of the year, so um, I'm going to continue filling in that um, that playlist that I had created earlier this year with the new wet parades. Um, I'll continue filling that in. I haven't worked on that in a long time, um, but I will, I will try to uh, get that going. So I think that that's everything I have to show you here today. I think that's quite enough. <laughs> 75 projects. Oh my goodness. But I only have 36 as of uh, about 10 hours from now. Um, so I am going to probably end this off here and get to editing. Um, and I will bid you all adieu. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Thank you for sticking with me for another year. It's been a good one, and I cannot wait to see what next year brings. I hope that um, I hope that everybody's doing well. Um, again, don't forget to use that hashtag, JMDS Whip Parade. Uh, show me what you get done between the start and this finish here. I'm, I'm really I'm really excited to see uh, if anybody does that, and maybe it'll be just me when I watch for quality assurance. Um, we'll see. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you in the new year. As always, be kind. Thor and I would just like to say that we hope everybody has a wonderful New Year's. Happy New Year, everybody. Be safe. Have fun. And I hope that 2019 is um, everything and more that you could hope for it. We'll see you all next time. Right, dear boobs? Right? Yeah.